You want to see where football's most successful franchise plays? We are giving you an exclusive insider's look at Pittsburgh. Home to terrible towels, world-famous sandwiches, and of course, the Steelers. Pittsburgh has been going through a renaissance of sorts lately with new development and innovative shops popping up all over the city while still maintaining that Rust Belt heritage and sense of community. And in no place is that more visible than right here at Everyday Cafe. This cozy spot for coffee and grub gives back a portion of its profits to community causes like supporting food and nutrition programs for kids in this local neighborhood. Pittsburgh is known as the city of bridges, and for good reason. It has got 446 of them. One of the most recognizable is this one, the Roberto Clemente Bridge. On game days, this bridge is closed to cars, turning it into a sea of black and gold football fans. And most of those fans will be waving one of these. Terrible towels, a must have for any Steelers fan. Proceeds from the sale of these towels benefit the NHS Allegheny Valley School, which helps people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. How many terrible towels do you think you make in one year? About a half a million in one. Does this make me an official Pittsburgher now? It does. I think I know how to celebrate. Opened in 1933, this Pittsburgh institution started by the Permanti brothers has been serving sandwiches piled high with meat, french fries, and coleslaw 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So, why the french fries? Well, when Permanti brothers first opened, steel workers wouldn't have time to eat a sandwich, french fries, and coleslaw separately, so they jammed it all into one stack of deliciousness. And what do steel workers love even more than Permanti brothers? The Pittsburgh Steelers. Who better to talk to about the Steelers than someone who used to play for them? Craig Wolfley, what is the relationship like between the city of Pittsburgh and the Steelers? As the steel industry was leaving in the 70s, the Steelers fans and the Steelers players really became bonded. The steel workers having such a hard time to put food on the table, there wasn't a lot of joy and a lot of happiness and not a lot to look forward to. But those Steelers games, week in and week out, they were big moments for a lot of families. I have been hearing about Heinz Field all day from Pittsburghers, but before I go there, I've got one more stop to make. It is way colder here than it is in LA. I have had an amazing time in Pittsburgh. Heinz Field is awesome, even though they didn't let me on the field. And I will say one thing, this city loves its football. It's gonna be pretty hard to top, but I'm gonna try. Charlotte, here I come.